Talking of famous faces and meeting famous faces, there's a weird thing going on at the moment. Uh, be, be, well, so many weird things because of Donald Trump. Mm. But, uh, <laughs> but, but we're suddenly hearing about all these famous people that he asked out, and you are one of them. <gasps> yeah. What? Yes. yes. I know. <laughs> You could be the yeah. first lady. Mm, I could have changed the course of history. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, we were doing Primary Colours, uh, which was a film about the uh, about the Clintons and about that. Yeah. That it was at Universal. It was ninety seven. So it was a long time ago. So actually, one only associated Senior Trump with tasteless architecture at that point <laughs> um, and well a, a still a boundless sense of narcissistic kind of madness but I was in my little trailer which was a normal trailer and it had a phone like a proper phone with a you know landline, landline. Yeah. sort of trailer though so it's kind of yeah. and I no one had ever rung me on it nor had I ever used it in fact I assumed it was not a working machine and it rang one day and I picked it up and uh, it was Donald Trump Donald Trump. What? Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump was on the, the other end of the phone going, Hi, it's Donald Trump here. And I thought someone was having a laugh. And I said, Oh, fuck off. <laughs> And he said, no, I'm ringing to um, ask you if you would like to, you know, um, come and stay in one of my lovely apartments and uh, maybe we could have dinner. Oh. And, um, and I just didn't know what to say. I was just absolutely astounded because how did he get my number? I mean, a number that I didn't have <laughs> in the trailer. Yeah. And so I just said I'd get back to him. <laughs> and uh, I'm in so many ways I wish I had because if I had gone out with him for dinner, I could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we would all have known 